champions and welcome back to It's Donnie Wani time. Donnie Wani is here today with part two of We're Talking Trash. Yes, trash. Trash from the last quarter of 2017. And I have quite a bit. That's why it's three parts to this trash because I don't want to hold you too long. You know what I'm saying? So if you're interested in the sin, sin. And hearing what I've gone through and what I think about it, then you just keep watching. Okay, so if you have not seen part one, which happens to be all about body care and hair care, then you know what? You need to click on the link right up here and check out the description box for the same link. And look at that video okay so we're gonna go ahead and get started we are starting out today with makeup items today is gonna be a few makeup items and perfumes and I have quite a few perfumes so let's go ahead and jump right in and get started we're gonna start out with the first item that's in makeup It's the Tarte shape tape concealer and it's in the color deep y'all know what this looks like there is some stuff going on with Tarte. People are upset because of the new foundation. But we're not talking about that today. We're talking about my empties. And this is one of my empties. Now let me know. Do y'all do this? Do y'all take the little stopper out and get everything out that you can get out? Because I do. Because if you don't take that stopper out, you will leave a bunch of product. There is still some product in here. Um but I'm not going to fool with it. And I have a scraper. Let's just see for the sake of it. How much is still in here? Because it's down here at the bottom. See, look at that. That's a lot of product. A lot of product. But yeah, you get you one of these doggone scrapers and you can get every drop of your product out okay I'm just not going to fool with this because I already have a new one that I've started and I'm, I'm just trying to get through some products guys I like it when I use up products I don't know about nobody else but I really really enjoy seeing empty bottles okay so we're just going to let this one right here rock and roll and keep it moving by now the next one I probably will go ahead and do a scrapey roo scrapey roo <laughs> and get every doggone drop of it out. But for this one, we're just going to go ahead and get rid of it. I like the Shape Tape because it gives me full coverage. It does not dry out my under eyes and it does not crease once it is set. Um, I can pretty much use this on any of my under eye setting powders. Um, I can use this to, like if I have a pimple that popped up, I can use this and pop it on there and blend it out and it and, and you won't even see the the pimple for me okay so that's why I enjoy this product because I have a problem with creasing under the eye, under my eyes so when I find a concealer that I can use under my eyes that does not crease on me then I kind of like stick with it so this will be a product that I will stick with okay moving on we have the Revlon Volume Length Magnified Mascara. This mascara did not work for me. It has a nice brush. Nice full brush where you can really get into your lashes with it. But the problem that I have with this, Champions, is that it flakes and it runs on me. And it doesn't give me much volume at all. So for those reasons, I will not be purchasing this again. Moving on, we have the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the color number 5. And I love this brow pencil. Now, I do have my brows microbladed, but I went for a natural microblade on my brows because it was my first time doing it um, and I didn't want to get it real, real, you know, harsh looking. 
Um, and so now that my um, my micro blade needs to be touched up, um, I've been filling in and making my brows a little darker. And so I've gone back to this. This is what I used prior to getting microbladed, and I really, really, really enjoy it. It's a well. There's nothing left in here, um, and I do have one right here. It is a fine. You see that it's very, very fine the little tip so it's easy to you know it doesn't break easy on me like the Anastasia does the Anastasia I stopped using it because it always broke and I mean I'm not using it no more no putting any more force behind it than I would any other brow product I didn't think in my opinion so that's why I use this and that's why I will continue to use this now let me just make sure that this is not yeah that's the one that's empty I ain't want to throw out the good one <laughs> but yeah I'll buy this again okay the next one that I have is the Neutrogena healthy volume mascara and that's what that looks like I didn't like this either now I didn't flake or anything like that but it didn't do anything for my lashes that's the brush on it which is really a nice brush but it just didn't do anything it didn't give me any volume it didn't give me any length and it says that it's supposed to be healthy volume but I didn't get volume um, as you can see I, I don't have anything on today but this is these are my brows they're just, I mean my lashes they're just they need some help and this just did not do it for me so I won't be repurchasing this as a matter of fact I got this uh, from Costco in a set that had some other Neutrogena products in it and I, I I won't be purchasing that. The next item that I have for makeup is the Maybelline Master Camo <coughs> oh, excuse me Master Camo and it is a color corrector in apricot for dark circles that's what that looks like. I really 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 like this I love the applicator love the applicator and you can get into the corners okay so I got caught up cut off y'all how dare the SD card run out of storage <laughs> anyway we were talking about the corrector from Maybelline and how well I like it with that head and it just it just glides and it moves along now this part doesn't physically swivel but you can manip manipulate it so well it's a twist up type of deal to get the product out but it just goes and I blend it out it blends like a dream I just love these so I have already purchased this and we'll continue to purchase this okay now moving on we are going to go into perfumes and I have several perfumes here so we're going to start out with coach poppy perfume that's what the bottle looks like coach poppy this smells so it smells pretty it smells flirty it, it just smells good now I the notes it says here for coach poppy for women it says opens with bright cucumber juicy mandarin and freesia buds notes heart is filled with aroma of jasmine pink water lily southern gardenia red candy rose petals and cream brulee accord the base note is a mixture of cedar wood sandalwood vanilla and marshmallow and all of those different scents together make this an awesome awesome perfume this is an all day perfume and it just smells so good it's a light perfume but it smells simply marvelous you don't smell like a little girl wearing this like I said you smell flirty and you smell 
provocative and you smell like a woman but you just smell so fresh and so nice and so sweet wearing this i love this perfume i have had this one bottle since it first came out and it's been a while since this has been out um but i finally finally used it up um just because i only had a little bit in it and i really wanted to get rid of it because like i said this is a light scent and it's pretty much what i wear in the spring and the summer so love it love it love it okay champions now the next one that i have is the mary j blige my life mary j blige made this in a collaboration with carol's daughter founder okay um, I am a huge, huge Mary J. Blige fan, and when this launched, I immediately purchased it. It launched on HSN, Home Shopping Network, um, several years back. I immediately purchased it just because I wanted to support Mary J. Blige. Now, this is also a nice, clean scent. It smells like a woman. Um, and let me just read, I'm looking on my computer here. It says, enjoy a woody scent that's filled with a blend of florals and fruits when you wear this cologne. This wonderfully blended fragrance was designed by Mary J. Blige with the aid, with the aid of Carol's daughter and was released in 2010 for everyday casual use. The floral and fruity top notes of gardenia, freshna, and bartlett pear dry down to reveal a strong floral heart. Right. This is something that is also a nice spring and summer scent. It's very nice. It has a floral scent to it, but it is not overbearing. I am not one for just straight florally smelling. That smells like grandma to me. Um, but this anything that has floral in it it has to be mixed with some other stuff for me to be able to wear it comfortably and this is one of those scents it just smells really pretty and really really nice if y'all have ever get the opportunity to try this please go ahead and try because you will truly 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 enjoy it Okay, the next perfume that I have is Romance by Ralph Lauren. This is the original Romance. Y'all can see I've been busy, honey. Even though I was crazy going on in my personal life with my children, I was still using product. This is an all-time favorite of mine. Oh, it just smells so... It's a heavier scent. Um, I don't have the notes up on it right now, but y'all know about Romance. This is the original one that he came out with, and it is just really, really provocative and strong and and pretty and, you know, all those things that make you feel like a woman is in this, this fragrance has it for me. This is an all-time favorite. I have already repurchased it and will continue to repurchase it because it's just one of those fragrances that I, I can wear it every day. Every day. A little bit goes a long way with this. The scent lasts. Okay, so yes. Romance by Ralph Lauren. Okay. Okay, moving on, I have two roller balls here, the Elizabeth James Nirvana White and Nirvana Black, and they're in the roller ball version. I picked this up from Sephora two Christmases ago because I wanted to try it out. Um, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. It just doesn't mix with my body chemistry at all. I've tried wearing them by themselves. White, if I had to choose between the two to wear, it would be white. Simply because it smells nice and girly. But for me, both of them just have a really, 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 really strong alcohol hint to it. I can smell the alcohol in it. And so when you mix that alcohol with my body chemistry, it just, it just makes me it just I don't like the smell of it it makes makes me smell to me like I might be musty or something I don't know but these are just a no-go and I will not repurchase these at all done with that 
Um, I have this sample of Replica by Maison Margala. It's an eau de toilette. Um, this is one of those samples and a Replica I like. If I can find Replica I like. I don't know if y'all have this I like because it reminds me of a man's scent and I love men's scent because they just they have warmth and they have uh, strength to them and I like colognes like that but I don't want to smell like a man but this reminds me of a man's scent I would purchase this um, but I have not purchased it I'm still on the fence about it for some reason I think it's because it smells more too much of a man for me so that's why I have not jumped out there but if you like those type of strong masculine scents then replica would be a very good one for you okay and then moving on I have another um, sample of the my Burberry blush Eau de per perfume y'all I really 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 like the my Burberry blush I like the uh, the regular my Burberry. See, I can't get none out. But this one is a much, much lighter s fragrance to me. I was about to say scent. It's a much lighter fragrance to me, so I can wear this in the spring and summer. It has a florally background, but not too much floral background. And it just smells fun. It smells like I'm going to you know hang out with the girls and do lunch and have mimosas or whatever but this is really 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 a nice scent and I have this on my wish list to purchase moving on I have J Malone which I received in a sample um, I had two different ones in here I had the J Malone what is this English Pear and Freesia, Freesia, and then I have the J. Malone Peony and Blush. I can't even read what that says. But um, both of these, I was not hip to J. Malone until I got these samples here. And they both, J. Malone is sold at Sephora, and there, see, there's nothing in here because I can use every drop. But it's a it's a scent that is a strong scent but settles very nicely it lasts all day um, they have just different variations of the J Malone um, perfumes um, actually these are colognes not perfumes and I believe I want to say that this is a man's cologne I want to say but they're, they're 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 very very nice nice enough where I purchased a full size <laughs> um, and this is the English oak and red currant cologne and yes oh, it doesn't take a lot it does not take a lot and this is a man's cologne if I am not mistaken okay champions I stand corrected. I had to go look this up. Joe Malone London is the name of the brand. Um, it is a London company and they make men and women's cologne. Now the one that I have, see I'm smelling it. Oh my god it smells so good. I have this English Oak and Red Current Cologne. This is a woman's cologne. This stuff is pretty pricey. This bottle right here I want to say is $135. I'm looking on the website here. Yes, 3.4 fluid ounces. Yes, this is a 135. Um, I just fell in love with it. It is, if you like colognes that are, now this particular one is a fall and winter scent. And it's a very feminine scent. Um, but if you like colognes that are, it's feminine but a little heavy they last this cologne lasts all day and a little bit goes a long long way um some people say that it's fruity but for me it's not fruity it has 
heavy notes. It has English oak. It has red currant. Both of those are heavy notes. Um, it has a florally undertone to it. But, oh my goodness, y'all. This stuff. You just got to go to Sephora and smell it because all of Joe Malone, and it's Joe Malone, I kept saying J. Malone, all of Joe Malone London's colognes, they smell absolutely fabulous. They have, he has them where they are, um, the brand has it where they are like more woodsy and more like with sandalwood and oak and then you have the kind that are just straight fruity and orange and this type of thing. Just smell them the next time that you are in Sephora and, and let me know what you think about it down below in the comments because I am totally in love with this. And I have used it and you see I haven't it haven't, I haven't even touched it really empty and because a little bit goes a long way. This is not a cologne that you just go you know what I'm saying and spray throughout the day. You know, you this is something that you want to put place strategically on you because if you put too much of it on, it can be overbearing. But if you wear just a little spritz in the right places, whoo, baby, you'll smell it all day long. Cause cologne and perfumes for me are for me to smell. I don't necessarily wear them for other people to smell. I like to smell it like if I like, yeah. And then I put my arm up and then I get a whiff and it kind of like brings me back to life and refreshes me. That's what I like about this. It does exactly that. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay, champions. And then the final, final perfume that I have is also a sample. And it's the Maison Francis Kirk de Juan, Kirk de Juan Paris. Aqua Universalis. I think I'm saying that right. I don't know. Um, this is a sample. This is what the packaging looks like on it. Y'all, this is some pricey cologne. It's an EDT. Um, and 2.37 ounces of this cologne is $195. But this stuff right here... I got this in one of my travels from Neven Marcus as a sample. This, mm, this stuff right here is so doggone sexy and womanly smelling and fruity and woodsy and, and intriguing smelling um, that I am almost tempted to get this. I am asking my husband to buy me some of this cologne. Um, it's just that good for me to spend that kind of money on it, which I'm really trying not to do. Um, but it's, let me just read the notes, what it says in the description on Neiman's uh, website. It says, this is a perfume to share. It says, as an elegant and simple essential piece. Its sparkling floral accord is heightened by a touch of sandalwood and a sumptuous jasmine absolute. It releases a general freshness with bergamot from Calabara, Sicilian lemon, lily of the valley, string, what is it, stringa in a swirl of light and musky woods assembled and engraved by hand. I smell all of that and all of that together y'all this is some sexy smelling stuff you hear me this is not for the faint at heart that think they are a woman when you wear this stuff right here you need to be confident you know what I'm saying and you need to exhume confidence to wear this one right here because this one has that strength, has that intrigueness, has that girliness, has that freshness, has that uh, flirtiness. It is every has that sexiness. It's everything wrapped up into one. Hence, probably the reason why I cough so much. But y'all, mm, I love this perfume. I really do. And there ain't nothing I can even squeeze a pinch of it out. So, if y'all ever see, have an opportunity to test it, get a sample of it, they don't sell this in Sephora. You have to go to Saks or Neiman Marcus or, or maybe even Barney's may even have it. That's how pricey this is, but it is an awesome, awesome, awesome perfume. 
So, that's it guys. That's it for part two of Donnie Wani's Trash from the last quarter of 2017. Told y'all I was busy, especially with the perfumes. Like I said, they, 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 they can change my attitude. They can change my mood. A good perfume. And I am a lover of perfumes and colognes. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. So, that's it. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm hoping it's not all that long. Um, but I just wanted to, especially with the perfumes, just try to give you some good descriptions because you might be interested in some very good perfumes. And sometimes it's just good to treat yourself. You don't have to always get the big bottle. They come in smaller bottles and some of them come in roller balls. I have those as well. Um, but when it's something I really like, sometimes I just treat myself. It does the soul good. It does the heart good. So, if you've made it this far again, then that means hopefully that you enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed the video then just click that red button down there that says subscribe because it will truly help a sister out give this whole series of trash a big thumbs up because that will also help a sister out and while you're doing all of that just hit that bell so you can always be notified when i upload a new video i appreciate each and every one of you for those of you that are new to my channel welcome and thank you for coming on board and for those of you that have been here and been here and been here thank you thank you thank you i appreciate each and every one of you so very much and until the next video champions give yourself a break stop beating yourself up change what you can change fix what you can fix and what you have no control over let it go mm, mm, let it go Mwah. Stay tuned for part three, baby. Smooches.